You better tell him or I will. You better tell him. We gon' talk about wrong, right, death, life. Talk about anything you like, you better tell him or I will. You better tell him or I will. You better tell him. We gon' talk about broke, rich, real life ish. Speaking like this, I can't miss. You better tell him or I will. You better tell him or I will. You better tell him. We gon' talk about the old, young, smart, dumb. Let me show you where I'm coming from. You better tell him or I will. You better tell So when when you see these people, man, and they and they they kind of uh, make you feel a certain way, good way. Like there's something about them, man. You know, and remember that something a few episodes back. You know, you 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 meet these people that's rich in life, and 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 they you you don't hear them complaining, you don't hear them whining, you don't you don't hear none of that, man. And and they they always good, always good people, you know. And they and they done put some distance in their life. And and I would suggest you want to be looking at the fifty or better. You don't really want to be messing with no thirties and forties with this information I'm hearing. It ain't been on the road long enough. Matter of fact, while I'm thinking of that, in your life, you have an elder in your family. Okay, aunt, uncle, grandma, great grandmother. That's been on the road longer than you and got way more distance, not only on the road, but between where you at on the road and where they're at. And man, these people, they can say a sentence and simplify your whole life for the rest of your life with one sentence. That's the type of people you want to listen to. You know, don't think that they don't know what they talk. Man, I got an Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob and say some shit, change your life for the man. Look here. <laughs> oh, Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob, boy. Uncle Bob carry a 44 Magnum everywhere he go. 84 years old, I believe. And Uncle Bob say, click the safety and then hop on his own. <laughs> Uncle Bob, Vietnam vet, man. In a simplified life. Uncle Bob just drove from Louisiana to California for one of his great niece's wedding. Didn't even expect him to be there. Saw him there. That's the bad. I'm doing a podcast, Uncle Bob. What you doing tomorrow? Getting ready to leave on Saturday. <laughs> but anyway, man, you know that that type of wisdom and that wise counsel. So what what you have to do is, or I'm not saying what you have to do because you don't have to do nothing. Remember that you don't have to do nothing. Right? But if you want to figure it out, get your shoulders lighter. Huh? Make it easy. Make it more peaceful. Search for these wise people and create the table of wise counsel for you. Right? And these people that, that get, get on this on, on this road and then they made some difference in their life, not in the world, in their life. Start to pick their brain, man, and get them jewels. How do I do this? How do I do that? What do you think about this? Hey, man, I'm looking to do this. What you think about that? Huh? And then they start to add to you, man. And these differences, it will, it's what I call collapsing time frames. Okay? So the cats that I run with in recovery and hopefully, you know, some of them motherfuckers old bank robbers and all of this shit so they might not get on camera because they still got a philosophy that they follow. But some of them will come, right? Now, I'm the youngest dude in my recovery family. Youngest male that's in the unit. Got 38 years so Uh, 38, 37, 36, 34, 28, 29, so on and so forth. So it's safe to say they make my life and this ability to recover and live sober a lot easier, right, for me. Why? Because what they say, I take it to the bank. Not here and try nothing different. They say, Sean, don't go down that street. They got a hole up there. 
I'm not going to be the nosy dude to go all the way up to the caution tape to look at the hole. Nope, I'm going to find a hole, not, let them turn left and go around this one. Right? I'm, I, I don't question these brothers when it, and sisters, when it comes to living life. Right? Because I can see it in their life. I done been to their home. I see how they operate with their wives, with their children. So when they tell me something, it's not to put me in harm's way. Huh? It's only to make me better. Why? Because they got the distance on me and they done made the difference in their life. So this is my wise counsel. Even got a pastor in my wise counsel. Huh? Come on, man. There is a difference with the distance and there is a difference in the distance. And the reason we're talking about this is because I got to talk to myself because there's a difference in the distance between me and my children. And I'm starting to accept, not that I didn't know, right? Because you can know something and not accept it, baby. Oh, right? So I'm starting to accept that they may not pick up what I'm putting down. However, it's my responsibility as the father and the leader to continue to drop the jewels and stay on the principles, man. Because it's going to make sense as you continue to do that uh, distance, that travel. Huh? It's going to make a difference, right? Excuse me, I'm fixing the band on my cheap watch. Cheap? Cheap. Right on. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, 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 like, it, and especially with my sons, you tell them something, you share something with them. That's a little jewel for you. Especially dealing with your family. You don't want to tell them too much. You want to share it with them. See, look, look, watch. Let me tell your ass something. I'm breathing from right here. So my breath is short, oxygen short. I'm in, I'm in active mode. But when I say, let me share something with you, see my stomach move? So now I'm relaxed. So I learned from the great Carl W. God bless the dead to share with the family instead of telling the family. So I share information with them, share my opinion, share my thoughts, you know, and then they go and do the shit that they had already had planned. And they come back looking like somebody had shot their dog in front of them. And I'm learning to laugh and just let it be, you know, because they haven't covered the distance that I've covered. They didn't come up like me and my man Maul. Shit, I didn't come up like Maul. Right? So different people come up different ways, but yet the principles, universal principles are the same. Right? So since we didn't come up the same, maybe you're not relating to what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. mm, Dad don't know what he's talking about. Nah. Right? That's not the case, man. Listen to what these people is telling you. Try it for God's sakes. Give it a shot. The thing is, when we get this information from the wise, we don't even put it into practical application. We go with what the hell we think. And then come back like somebody that shot your dog in front of you. Don't wait until life whoop your ass and put you in a position to where you sweetly reasonable to listen to the wise counsel. Get it early. As I shared with my son, you don't have to go as low as I, I went to get this. I'm trying to raise the bottom for you. And that's what a lot of these people be doing, man, that's kicking game now. Some of them, some of them is just blowing smoke and wasting your time. Straight up. But for the most part, in your circle, right? Me and you, we may never meet in person. Highly unlikely you're going to become part of the circle. And it's highly unlikely I'm going to become part of your circle. But in your circle, you have wise people. You have people with the necessary experience and information to share with you to help you bypass all of the heartache and pain and collapse the time frame and put you from here to here 
just like that. Hmm? So I don't have to get 38 years sober to behave and act like the 38 year old is telling me the best way is to do it. I take what they say, put it in a practical application. Now, do we agree on all things? No, no, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is, brother, sister, aunt so-and-so, uncle so-and-so, can you help me? Because it's not working out. I'm not happy with where I'm at. I'm not feeling good about myself. Huh? And man, they, man, y'all done heard me before. See, them people rich with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, they ready to share it with you just like the rich people help you get rich. The rich work to enrich. The poor stay poor because they refuse to switch. Oh, man, wait a minute, God damn it. Oh, man, hold on. I'm going to say that again. The rich work to enrich. Why the poor stay poor because they refuse to switch. And even though the years of their life accumulate, they ain't put no distance between the beginning and the finish line, baby. Huh? But the rich that worked to enrich, they was here this day and there that day. And then you say, they lucky. They came up this way. They came up that way. They got this. They got that. I know they didn't join the Illuminati. You damn right they did. Hmm? You, 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 fuck it. YouTube. Conspiracy theories, you're right. They joined the Illuminati. <laughs> Why? Because Illuminati simply means the enlightened one or the illuminated one. So that person that has made it from here to here that you think joined the Illuminati, you got damn right. They went and got that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, put it into practical application, and then left your ass in the dust. Ha! Huh? Mm-hmm. We're going to get to some of them conspiracy theories, but that's not why I'm here today. I'm simply here to tell you <laughs> that it is a difference with the distance and a difference in the distance. And we can all share and cover the same common ground. I'm going to holler at y'all, man. I'm going to get with y'all on the next one, man. <laughs> yes, sir. You better tell them or I will, God damn it. Have a deep conversation, probably reach across the nation. I'm getting to the point, be patient. Tell them why I will. You better tell them why I will. You better tell them. Yeah. You are now tuned in to the number one podcast on the internet. Sean P. You better tell them.